period cost application. Topic three, we'll be covering a short video on budgeted versus actual costs. I mentioned previously that most likely uh, they'll be using budgeted costs, but I really want to talk about why and some trade-offs between the two. When performing cost allocations, management must make a determination as to whether or not to allocate certain costs on the basis of either budgeted hours or actual hours of services consumed. It is very common for budgeted rates to be used for both single rate and dual rate allocation methods. Uh, this is common because it allows for better decision making on part of managers as an allocation based on the budgeted amounts can be estimated well in advance, whereas one based on actual costs and actual hours of services consumed can only be evaluated for the true cost at the end of the period. That whole time, accuracy, uh, cost trade-off. Managers who know the rates to be used for a period in advance are more likely to consume the support service with certainty. If rates to be used were not known in advance, this may disincentivize managers from leveraging the use of support functions that can actually enable the business to run better. It also allows management to understand whether for any particular endeavor, it is, financially, it is more financially efficient to use the in-sourced service provider or an outsourced service provider. For example, in-house legal counsel versus using an outside firm. The use of budgeted rates in cost allocation also creates incentives for managers to improve efficiency. Once the budgeting has occurred, the support department carries the risk of overspending as the operating divisions will not pay for cost overruns that cause actual rates to be greater than the budgeted rates, unless there is a separate true up process at the end of the year. Let's look at a question. You are the accountant for a medium sized construction company. The CEO approaches you and complains that the IT department has been costing significantly more than anticipated, and it's getting costlier each year, even though the company isn't really growing. He believes the cost, he believes the cause of the cost increase is related to the method of cost allocation. Without knowing any other facts, the most likely cause of this continuous increase in cost is, is it A, the allocation of IT costs to the support units is based on budgeted costs. B, the allocation of IT costs to support units is based on actual costs. C, the managers of the operating division aren't well trained enough in IT. Or D, the IT department is overstating how much work they do. The answer is B. When the allocation of support costs is based entirely on actual costs incurred and hours used, there is no incentive for the IT department to control its costs or operate efficiently. It can simply operate as inefficiently as possible and pass the effects of these costs onto the operating divisions. All right. Thank you. And I will see you in the next video.